the real deal. What's up guys, I'm Jake and welcome to The Real Deal Airsoft. I'm going to bring you a quick tech tip unboxing of an amazing product. And listen, everyone's looking to find out which airsoft parts are the best of the best. So this is a new product that's recently hitting the American market. It's been overseas for a while. This is a Warhead Industries brushless motor. Later on in this video, we're going to get into what the difference between a brushless motor and a brush motor is. But let's get to the unboxing first. All right, we have beautiful packaging. This is the standard speed though, don't take that for granted. The standard speed has ridiculous torque and ridiculous power. Okay, we have a little operating manual. We have the actual motor itself. All right, so taking a closer look at the motor, it looks like it's made of some really robust material. Very, it's CNC, this is very hard. The end bell is also metal and it's held in by these four end screws. And notice the missing brushes. Let's see how torquey and clicky it is. Very, it's, it's very clicky, very, very clicky. This is a beautiful motor. It's constructed very well, not gonna lie. What else comes in the package? You also have your tower, and this comes with a bearing at the top. Really nice. As well, you have a stainless steel spring. And last but not least, the pinion. Let's take a look at this pinion, all right, guys? A high quality pinion has, like thin, has slightly thinner teeth. You'll notice on CZI pinions, they're really beefy and fat. But these teeth look almost identical to the 2021 SHS high torque pinion, and they are very good. This is D-type, and it's held in by a grub screw, which you should definitely put Loctite on when you install it. And D-type motors are superior because there's less chance of this thing flying off. All right, I'm going to have to open up that screw, but this is basically how it would be. Ooh, really clicky. Wow. Okay. So what are the benefits of having a brushless motor compared to your standard brushed motors? Well, let's take a look at the structure real quick. On your regular DC motors, you'll see that you have brushes, right? And these brushes make contact with your commutator. And basically that's the bottom of your armature and that thing spins. You have brushes squeezing this shaft as you will. And think of it as like brake pads, right? So they're gonna wear down and they're gonna create a lot of dirt, a lot of grit. And electricity actually flows through those brushes and that's why you'll see it sometimes they're sparking. And that's perfectly normal when these uh, motors are firing, right? And they get their their power and their speed based on how many turns per armature there are. What's turns per armature? Basically on the inside, there's, you can kind of see it, but you won't be able to see it in this video. On your motor, you'll be able to see it, no problem. Inside of here is copper wire wrapped around the armature. The middle of this is an armature. This thing moving inside, that's an armature, right? So let's say a 28 TPA motor means it's 28 turns per armature. So there's uh, a copper wire being wrapped 28 times. For, a rate, for these type of motors, the higher the TPA, the more torque it has, right? The more it could go, yeah, that's that startup power, right? So for high stress builds, for trigger response builds, you want that high torque. Now, when the torque increases to a certain point, you have a decrease in speed, right? Your rate of fire, it's just slower. So a lower TPA motor like this, it has almost no resistance. It'll have a super high rate of fire, but it'll have a very inefficient semi, right? So that's the downside. And that's how brushed motors basically work, if you will, right? Now let's step up to a brushless motor. Yeah, they're super premium and they're almost three times the price of these motors. Now why? One, they'll virtually last forever. There's no brushes. There's nothing that's gonna wear out down here and there's no sparking. The efficiency is out of this world, okay? So the way that this derives power, um, when you determine the power of this motor, you cannot judge it by TPA, turns for armature. It just doesn't, it just, it's just not equivalent because the way it gets power is different from this. Basically, there are stationary magnets that are rotating around energized coils of copper. Being that it's so powerful, it's gonna be really efficient, meaning it's gonna draw less juice from your battery. So your battery will last longer, but you need a MOSFET to control this. And the crazy part about brushless motors is that they will have the torque, they will have more torque than a 28 TPA motor and more speed than a 15 TPA motor. When you install these, I recommend open your gearbox and reshim bevel to pinion, okay? Because 
the amount of power that this thing packs, it can just rip your internals apart. All right, so this is my review for the Warhead brushless motor. If you wanna see its performance, subscribe to the channel so you can see it thrown in a DSG build. When you install, you also have to take these little tabs off of the Warhead. Warhead, all in all, it's looking amazing. It's made of really robust materials and brushless motors are far superior to these old technology. You heard? That's my quick tech tip. Until next time, I'll see you on the workbench. The real deal.